Bum 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 The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 So you may have noticed in my videos about anodizing bismuth that one of my favorite hacks is to join 9 volt batteries together like this uh, 18 and 27 volts are very good at creating uh, color patterns like this uh, this is 27 volts actually 18 volts gives uh, this color this one's also 27 I find after 36 volts the color uh, uh, kind of grays out a little bit you just start ending up with crystalline uh, bismuth oxide I, I haven't really had success with higher voltages with titanium you can go much higher from what I've read but I don't have the apparatus for casting titanium at the moment I hope to play with that at some point uh, but um, I, I, I discovered this when I was 16 years old actually I was going to college part-time and of the college they, they went through 9 volt batteries like crazy they would just throw them into the recycle bin and I would take them home to play with. They usually still had some juice on it. And I connected thousands and thousands of volts and they would arc. I naively thought uh, if you had a high enough voltage, and this might be true. Uh, of course, uh, it, you might need some other uh, uh, controls to make this work out. I thought with a high enough voltage, you could manipulate the nucleus of atoms and do some sort of alchemy with it. So um, I uh, connected 10,000 or so volts together. I took the tungsten out of uh, the, the, the filament of, out of a light bulb. And I thought it, if I had enough voltage on it, it, it would manipulate the nucleus and turn that tungsten into gold or something else, right? Anything more valuable than tungsten, right? Uh, so I connected it to a bunch of tungsten that I had gathered together and um, the batteries got very hot and so uh, I was like uh oh because it was so hot I couldn't reach and disconnect stuff I ran around the house looking for like a, a pair of screwdrivers or scissors to uh, d d jimmy the batteries loose so that it, it would break the connection I ran around the house looking for some tool to, 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 to get to it and before I knew it batteries started exploding it was like firecrackers uh, I was doing this in the bathroom uh, my my bat. Hold on, I'm I'm recording a video. Give me a second. Uh, and um, batteries started exploding, and um, it's like firecrackers. And one of the batteries actually uh, got embedded into the room of my wall. So, so uh, in the future, future historians are going to wonder why there's a battery embedded in my wall. I don't know if I actually manipulated any of the tungsten. It was probably very microscopic, if anything. Um, but you would think, right, if you had a high enough voltage, so bismuth has four more protons than gold. If you had a high enough voltage, negative charge, maybe you could get the uh, three of the protons to jump out, right? You'd also need to lose the right number of, uh, of neutrons because gold only has one... Uh, uh, observ observationally stable ice. It's technically not even stable, but it's observationally stable, just like bismuth. And so, um, I, I, I used to love playing with that stuff. It drove my family crazy, though, and uh, too many times my dad had to uh, uh, ban me from uh, looking up the stuff online and taking away my chemistry equipment. It, it was, I think my dad was more concerned about me having a real life. The fact that I could have blown up the house or killed somebody, that was probably more secondary. He wanted me to have a normal social life. And um, I think that was a bigger concern. Anyway, that's how I discovered 9 volt batteries are like Legos, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike show. Bum 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 bum.